the Christmas Ballet Fairy. Best friends forever. It's Christmas Eve, said Rachel Walker, gazing out of her bedroom window at the snowy night sky. Santa Claus and his elves are packing his the sleigh full of toys. The reindeers are getting ready for their journey. And we are going to have the most amazing day ever, finished her best friend, Kirstie Tate. Rachel turned and smiled at her. The one thing that made Christmas truly perfect was being able to share it with others. This year was especially exciting because the girls had received a wonderful early Christmas present. Months, of, months ago, they had entered a competition called Best Friends Forever. They had to, had to draw a picture of each other and write 100 words about what made their best friend special. They had forgotten all about the competition until a type of white envelope arrived, addressed it to them both. Dear Kirsty, Rachel and Kirsty, congratulations! We are delighted to tell you have won first prize in our best friends forever competition. Your description of your magical friendship is inspiring. And we all feel that you deserve a special day out together. You told us that you both love dancing, so we have arranged for you to spend a day at the famous castle Spring Ballet School. We have also in included two tickets for the evening performance of Swan Lake. Have a wonderful Christmas and enjoy spending time together. Best wish. Amanda Blank, competition master manager. Rachel and Kirsty had got up early so they would have plenty of time to pack their bags and decided what to wear. They were taking their ballet outfit just in case they got the chance to dance. When they had finished breakfast, Mr. Walker drove them to the dancing school. The Castle Spring Ballet was very famous, and the building was extremely old and elegant. Kirsty and Rachel gazed up at its ground entrance in awe. Have a great day, said Mr. Walker. I'll drop your mom off later in plenty t of time for the ballet. The girls ran up the stone steps hand in hand the door was open and a huge hallway with black and white tiles stretched out in front of them an enormous chandelier hung from the high ceiling twinkling brightly and a wide staircase curved up to the next floor oh my goodness and Kirsty, I've got butterflies in my stomach. Me too, a little bit, said Rachel, with a nervous smile, it, even more ma magnificent than I imagined. Just then, a tall, whittly lady hurried toward them. She held out her arms and gave the girls a warm hug. Her silver hair was tied back in a loose ponytail and her blue eyes sparkled. You must be Rachel. You must be Rachel and Kirsty, she said. We've been looking forward to your visit very much. Congratulations on winning the prize. Friendship means a great deal to us here, Castle Springs. I'm the director of the school. And my name is Sophia. We're really excited, said Kirsty. And a bit nervous, added Rachel. Perhaps our Primia ballerina can help calm your nerves, said Sophia, waving her arm toward the stairs. A grateful, beautiful young woman was coming down the stairs, wearing a leotard and warm-up shorts. 
Her dark brown hair was wept behind under a headband, and she smiled when she saw the girls. Hello, my name is Penny, she said. Rachel and Kirsty felt very excited. They knew that the premier ballerina was the best and most important dancer in the company. It's great to meet you, said Kirsty. We can't wait to see you dance. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you both dance, said Penny. I've arranged for you to attend the Corpse de Ballet rehearsal class. The girls were thrilled. The Crops D Ballet was the group of backing dancers in the ballet company. Lots of famous ballerinas had started their dancing careers in the Crops D Ballet.